So the processes that occur inside of stars are some of the most fundamental and the most important in our universe. Uh, the fusion that occurs in their eventual death in a supernovae generates all elements heavier than helium. And closer to home, the energy they provide to the Earth drives our climate and allows for life. But surprisingly, despite their importance, we still do not have a great idea of how their interiors work. Part of this is the challenge of observing their interiors. We only see the surface and the atmosphere where there are a lot of turbulent and dynamic processes occurring. My, my research looks at modeling how energy transfers from the interior to the exterior so we can better explain what's happening inside. Oh shit, I've lost a mic. <laughs> All right. So the way we measure things inside the sun is by looking at sound waves that bounce through it. And then from this, we infer the interior structure and the interior dynamics. Sunspots, which are large dark spots on the solar surface, occur when strong magnetic fields prevent hot fluid from rising. These sunspots act as large wounds in the magnetic surface, and they allow waves that would otherwise be reflected to transfer out into the atmosphere. So the picture on the bottom right shows the atmosphere above a magnetic active region or sunspot. And you can see that it's a very dynamic, a very active region. Oh, no, I've lost my train of thought. So the way we do this modeling is by using a supercomputer to, dis to solve this big system of mathematical equations to the left there. And my research in particular is looking at how these waves behave in, a, in the magnetic field structure. It's a fairly complicated procedure because as we go up into the atmosphere, the magnetic forces start to dominate and the, what were previously plain sound waves change their nature. And what we get is waves that, depending on the angle and the direction of the magnetic field, will either escape into the atmosphere or be reflected back down. These sound waves can also generate magnetic waves that act as a twisting of the magnetic field structures, sending energy further up into the atmosphere. So a novel approach to my research is that I simulate the radiation spectrum that would occur from the changes these waves make. And then from that, I can directly compare my wave signatures to those seen from our satellites and our telescopes. So before we can understand the interior, we need to develop ways to measure it. And before we can measure it, we need to understand exactly what's happening to these sound waves in these wounds in the solar surface. Thank you.